The idea of sitting in an inflated rubber ring and floating reluctantly isn't new, but at the source of the world's longest river, the Nile, people are just discovering tubing. Here, the leisure sport was introduced by water tourism enthusiast Adam Bafirawala. I grew up with that inspiration of being a tour guide or studying something quite related to a waterborne activity. So it was late 2015 when I came up with the idea of tubing the Nile, and it's a new activity in Uganda. The tubes used are locally available from old vehicle tires, and for a single trip, one parts with $25. Tubing the Nile activity starts here. Once participants arrive, they register and pay, and then are walked down the river. The tubes are fastened together to make up a team of 10, and the kayaker rows as the lead. Participants are given safety precautions before setting off. The first thing is that you are safe with the jacket, and as long as you are with me, then you are very safe. Those interested are welcoming tubing as an alternative to the more riskier and frightening water sports. For the people like me who doesn't really know how to swim, it's a, it's a, it's a very nice way to cruise along the Nile. On a given weekend, tubing the Nile can host up to 50 tourists. It's an income generator for Adam and a boost for a country that continues to discover its tourism potential. Razia Athman, for African News in Jinja, Uganda.